In this week's episode, I'm talking to Marcel Redvat from Talent Mapper in the Netherlands about how he got started in sourcing his company Talent Mapper and what he will be talking about at SourceCon in Budapest. Welcome to episode 13 of the Sourcing Challenge Show. I'm your host, Mark Lundgren. To kick off the interview, I asked Marcel how he got started in sourcing. Yeah, so uh, I started in 2005. I studied uh, human resource management and um, yeah, I got my first job at uh, an agency and they were uh, looking for a recruitment trainee. And um, I just started uh, searching on job boards and searching on Google and had my first Boolean search training in 2006 or 2007. And then I was uh, on fire because, uh, I, uh, for example, I followed uh, the, the, the blog of Irina. Rina Shamaeva, the Ning uh, blog, and um, yeah, I, I followed our blogs. I saw some other blogs and uh, uh, experimenting with the uh, Boolean search strings. And uh, yeah, I was pretty much sort of ahead of the game at that time. Uh, and I also uh, explained my, uh, my uh, senior consultants and they uh, thought, okay, uh, that, that's cool, but I'm not doing that because I'm very busy with my clients, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I did that for three years and then, uh, I was, uh, uh, I started as a corporate recruiter and oh, actually it was an e-recruiter function. It was a new function. Uh, uh, I think I was one of the, the first e-recruiters in the Netherlands. I think uh, we call that now a talent sourcer. And, um, yeah, I had a manager, uh, she saw that this was pretty different because all the, uh, the other corporate recruiters are, uh, yeah, just, they, they just did the uh, post and pray. And, um, yeah, I built communities internally, uh, and I hunt, I hunted people. So basically I was, I was there in 2009 starting talent sourcing basically. And then, the, the the guy who trained me pulling search, he hunted me and said, uh, you need to train other uh, recruiters in the Netherlands and start teaching uh, Boolean search and uh, uh, social media management. Um, and then after that, uh, I started as a, yeah, I started Talent Pepper. So I met uh, Gert-Jan van Zwieten, who's, uh, yeah, who was the guy who was, uh, uh, very very good in boolean search and other things and uh yeah that's basically how we uh, started uh, telemapper when did you start telemapper then uh 2014 okay uh, we uh we started to advise uh, uh big companies in the netherlands with uh, labor market info mm -hmm. how they can research uh, um, uh, the labor market so i had some big clients like uh, uh, ab nembro which is one of the biggest bank mm -hmm. in the netherlands yeah um, and they told us, yeah, okay, the, the info, the data is fantastic, uh, but do you have some people who can do that? <laughs> so, yeah, that's why we started uh, 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 yeah, getting uh, talent sources to uh, Talent Mapper. And we, um, we have a lot of uh, uh, workshops and trainings, so uh, my sources are, uh, I hope, ahead of the game. <laughs> and, uh, but we're also uh, teaching other uh, recruiters in the Netherlands because we... Uh, it's sort of our duty to get talent sourcing to a higher level in the Netherlands uh, because there are some uh, big, uh, like Randstad mm -hmm. uh, and other uh, uh, big uh, names are, uh, they, they have talent sources, but it's uh, below the ladder. So it's, uh, it's the, yeah. People yeah, start they, as a talent source. Yeah, they have a different pricing model than you. So yeah, it's always so going to be, yeah. It's different. We we do it differently. So, but we see it as the as the future of of recruitment. Uh, I think you agree. Um, of course. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's what that's what we do. And uh, with the growth of of sourcing in Netherlands, what's the the industry look like now? What's the talent sourcing growth been in in the Netherlands, and how does it look now? The labor market is yeah, it's 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 on fire because the the, the market is very good. So almost every function is rare at this moment. So, um, there are, I see a lot of, uh, uh companies, uh, 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 we train all those uh, recruiters, 
but I see a lot of people, a lot of recruiters, they do, they are not good at at sourcing, mm-hmm. and basically uh, uh, the proactive uh, search. Um, so it's it's coming, it's 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 coming. But the main thing I see uh, with other companies is that they uh, they it's not a strategic recruitment. It's the, what we do today is we do do it tomorrow and do the day after, and um, so we see uh, uh, that the market is a little bit shifting to talent pooling. Mm-hmm. So do uh, more uh, forecasting. What, what what kind of people do we need uh, in the future? Uh, but it's 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 not long term enough. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, I know you're working on lots of different kind of products, uh, projects in the background. What's the uh, what's the kind of thing that you're working on now that that's really exciting for you? What's exciting is that we uh, it's for our own use, but we we build our own sourcing system mm-hmm. because a lot of applicant tracking systems are not uh, good enough to do sourcing. Uh, so we we yeah, we are building this for like five years now, mm-hmm. and we now have a, 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 a new release. And it works very well. And we also build our own Chrome extension to uh, scrape some uh, data from uh, uh, the well-known networks. <laughs> yeah, we are GDPR proof mm-hmm. for talent pooling. And that's, uh, that's a big thing uh, now, as you know, yeah. because of the, uh, the privacy uh, uh, things. So, um, yeah, we, we are ready for the future. Mm. And I see a lot of uh, corporates, uh, uh, corporates that are not ready yet for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they still have two weeks until GDPR really kicks in. Yeah, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. It's, yeah. it's, it's really interesting. I know, I know some companies, they, uh, they, they uh, deleted like uh, 20 or 30,000 candidates in their mm. system, which is pretty stupid. That's my opinion. But there's no vision. No. They didn't uh, research it and they just deleted it. That's, yeah. Mm. That's, that's basically why uh, 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 some recruitment agencies and companies are not future-proof because where's the vision in data? Where's the vision on talent pooling? And what's yeah. the long-term strategy? Yeah, that's... You asked me uh, uh, about the future in, in the Netherlands. Well, I think this is a good thing with the, the GDPR because, uh, uh, because when I started in recruiting, the database was, was the goal. There, yeah. But now we have to have to, have to refresh your data uh, every thirty days, or actually every day. But so for us as sources, for us, uh, uh, it's it's a very good thing mm. to 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 bring quality and not quantity. What do you see in terms of your clients? Is that is there kind of certain industries? Is it specifically tech roles, or what's the what's the kind of hard to find roles, or or roles where they normally bring you in and you're you're people in to be on site that's very diverse uh in the netherlands uh, uh, uh that, that's very funny the, the, a lot of rec- the, all, all big companies are uh, looking for uh corporate recruiters mm-hmm. and agency recruiters and talent sources so uh that's pretty funny because we we, we work for uh big companies and uh uh for big it companies they, they're looking for developers but the recruiters are even more rare than the de- developers at, at the moment, <laughs> which is pretty funny because when we started in 2014, the market was, uh, yeah, was, was uh, very different. Yeah. So, um, I think that there's a, 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 a there's a shortage in, in a lot of, uh, companies, a lot of, uh, um, target groups at that moment. When you're looking for, for new sources to join yeah, your team, what are you kind of looking for? Like, what's the kind of flags that, that you kind of look at for, is this person going to be somebody that's going to be good for us and, and good to send on site with the clients? If I look at my own team, there's no, not one profile, not mm. one person that's the, the, the best uh, uh, sourcer. So that they're all, all uh, highly uh, educated, uh, but some did psychology, some did human resource, some did uh, hotel management. It's very, mm. uh, very diverse. Um, but two things are very important for us. Uh, then, of course, they, they, they need to have passion with data and, mm-hmm. and uh, searching uh, people. Uh, they need to uh, convince uh, candidates. So uh, 
yeah, you have to uh, to be uh, able to do that, and right. and uh, of course they uh, they need to uh, present themselves very well to the candidates, but also to their to our clients because mm -hmm. we work uh, from uh, within the company, from within the, the the clients of us. Yeah. So uh, they need to have the data ready, and they need to convince uh, also the, the hiring managers. So they need to search well, and they need to. Uh, have their stakeholders uh, um, a priority. Mm -hmm. These are the two main focus points, um, and that that's that's pretty different. Yeah, that's it's it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy because I, I need to convince uh, also uh, recruiters that talent sourcing is uh, uh, yeah it's different, and it could be uh, uh, better. Yeah, it could be. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's the future of recruiting. So if you're not if you're not train yourself to uh, to be a good boolean searcher and looking for all the um, the Chrome extensions and scraping tools to to get you the candidates that others can't find or can't convince, um, you don't have a job in five years. Mm. That's my opinion. Okay. And what kind of tools do you normally kind of train new people on or do you train the, the corporate recruiters on that they should kind of use from a talent sourcing point of view? Uh, well, we have a boatloads of tools, of course, <laughs> uh, but we also, uh, we, uh, we always start uh, just with basic Boolean search. Mm -hmm. And after that, we try to, uh, to uh, uh, all the people that have to use, and to, of course, the advanced search uh, tools, mm -hmm. also on LinkedIn. Uh, but you, you need to be there where your uh, target group is. Yeah. So that's that's for every uh, uh, recruitment department or agency. It's different. Um, so I, I uh, I'm going to to America like a couple of uh, uh, times a year, mm -hmm. and America is very big, and the Netherlands is not, it's, it's, it's a small country, 70 million people. So we don't have as much uh, social media channels as uh, uh, as, as in America. Mm. Um, so, but, and, and also we train people in, in uh, how, how you can find an email address, for example. And, uh, and scraping is, it's not something we do uh, uh, every day. Uh, my sources, but not the, the people we train. So, yeah, uh, we're, we're never, uh, it's, it's a constantly growth. Mm. And tools come and go. Uh, uh, LinkedIn uh, uh, changes things all the time. And that's with uh, every social media uh, channels. The work that Talent Mapper does, is that, is that mainly then uh, Netherlands based or you do kind of international as well? For now, it's, very, uh, it's, it's only in the Netherlands. So we were very focused on uh, um, uh, getting, uh, getting better at our clients, mm -hmm. and get new clients and be there. Uh, because um, we are always the only talent sourcer at the recruitment department, mm. every big company. So uh, we need we need to do that very well. I think we need to. Uh, I think we're going uh, to to other countries uh, in, in in within two years. I think, yeah. And I saw it in America that a lot of sources do uh, uh, work remote. I strongly believe in the in making the connection with your hiring manager first to do a better job. And if you work remote, yeah, it doesn't work that way. If we if we have a good uh, client that uh, and we we, uh, we we're doing a good job. It's no problem that we were there for like one day a week or so. So we, but we need to convince the uh, hiring managers and also the recruitment department that we do a good job. So we, we uh, so it, for us, this is the model that we do now. You're joining me as one of the speakers in, uh, in SourceCon Europe. Tell me a bit yeah. about what you'll be, uh, be speaking about in Budapest. Yeah, so I've been to, uh, to SourceCon several times in America. So uh, when uh, Shannon asked me to be speaker in the first European version, I was uh, very, very excited. Um, so I'm very honored to be there, also to speak like, with uh, people uh, like you. It's very, it's, it's cool. So um, I'm going to be uh, speaking about uh, second circle sourcing. It's a term I, uh, I invented <laughs> because um, basically it's about referral sourcing. Um, I see a lot of recruiters, uh, they have a job, they need to fill in, they do a simple search on uh, LinkedIn and they, started, uh, they start just approaching uh, the people they see first, mm -hmm. right? That's not the right approach for me, uh, well that's my opinion. 
and there's uh, there's a lot of data there's a lot of networks that uh, are um, around us mm -hmm. so um, I'm going to be talking about uh, uh, simple hacks to find um, uh, 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 connections that you already have and also uh, of course the connections of your hiring manager mm -hmm. and the network around it so if you dig into those data you don't have to uh, approach uh, uh, people you don't even know because um, if, if you look at the Netherlands I told you before 17 million people and uh, the labor market is uh, uh, like 8.6 million people that are working here mm -hmm. and you can narrow that down to the people uh, 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 you need so you can see that uh, if, if you do um, uh, an intake with your hiring manager you, you already know uh, which people are uh, uh, suitable for the function and also that the hiring manager may uh, may know uh, five people that are uh, a, a perfect fit for the job mm -hmm. um, so instead of just asking do you know someone as a source we need to dig into into those data and say I know you know these five people when do we uh, gonna approach those people mm -hmm. and in what way because that's also what we're good at as a source eh? We don't just uh, send a message. We send a very personalized uh, message. The first time via e email, second time reapproachment uh, via Facebook or etc. Uh, and that's what we we need to fill in those the, the gap of the the low hanging fruit, the, mm -hmm. the 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 connections that are already uh, around us. And uh, and I'm also going to talk about some tools that help you with that. So first, some simple hacks. After that some tools that can help you and after that uh, some automation tools that can help you uh, get those data faster and keep your second circle alive mm -hmm. and also your first circle and it's it's uh, it's my first uh, presentation in english so uh, it's a challenge but i can uh, i'm very looking forward uh, to meet uh, other people from your uh, europe and to know uh, how uh, people uh, in other countries do it so it's going to be fun to see the difference between SourceCon in the US and then, you know, what we can, what we make of it in Europe and, and there's going to be a difference and yeah. there's something that we can bring over and there's some things that's just going to be very specific for Europe. Yeah. I'm very excited that SourceCon is coming to Europe because, uh, I learned a lot in, in America and I see that as, so, uh, as, as a good community to, uh, to, to, to be better every day and, mm -hmm. and to see how other countries do it. Uh, Marcel, if people want to, uh, to keep in touch with you and see what Talent Mapper is doing and, and where the growth goes, uh, how can they best do that? Well, they need to follow me on every social network I have and I have a lot of social networks. Now, to be honest, uh, I like to connect with people who are uh, enthusiastic uh, about sourcing, of course, and learn and how, uh, because um, we need to, to be better uh, every day. That's, that's what I think. And we can learn from each other. Uh, so what we do, uh, uh, we do have a lot of, uh, 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 we have a lot of workshops uh, here internally, but also we need to, if one of the reasons we started Talent Mapper is to, to, uh, to also uh, let the world, let the recruitment uh, see that sourcing uh, uh, is, is a profession mm -hmm. and we can do that together. And, and also, uh, we, need, we need to, to look not only in our, own, in our own country, but in other countries, how they do it. So, but they can, yeah, they, people need to connect with me, of course. Um, all my new knowledge I get from people from you and other uh, uh, people, on, uh, mostly on Facebook. Facebook uh, groups, and uh, th that's the place to be. Mm -hmm. So, the SourceCon uh, Facebook group is very good. Secret sourcing groups, other... Um, Groups are very good, and also, yeah, basically you can uh, also email me. <laughs> so, email is not dead, uh, so I'm very open to uh, to, yeah. to any questions at all. Marcel, thank you very much for your time, and have a very good weekend when you get that far. And uh, I'll see you in like five weeks in Budapest. Five weeks, yes, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm looking forward. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, I will see you then. Have a good weekend. Thank you very much. You too. All right. Speak to you later. Speak to you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back next week with a new sourcing conversation. If you want to be one of the first ones to know about new episodes, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications.